What's going on guys, Linus here, welcome back to Expeditions Conquistador. We are at the exact location where we left off, or actually stopped playing last time, and uh, let's see. We were headed for a ruined temple, and that's basically our quest marker. There's also a, uh, what is this, a Spanish settlement, Santiago. So let's just start with going to this bush, whatever it is, I want to see what's up with it. Twelve... Herbalism, I think. Uh, let's just go. I see a pig over there. Or a boar. Let's get that boar. And the camera is not really cooperating with me here. I see you, pig. We're coming for you. You have no more moves left and therefore cannot travel any further. So you basically have to camp when you run out of turns. That makes sense. Okay. Everybody just has the exact same job, I think. Herbalism. Actually, let's, um... You know what? That works for me. One person is, is on uh, herbalism duty. And they all get one ration. Fine, let's go. Camp. Day of our Lord. Oh, we got extra food and some extra other stuff. Gain six metal, ten meat. Your patrol has brought back some salvageable iron from the site of an old battle. So, if you send people on patrol, they'll actually find you items, which is awesome. Let's kill this pig. Sweet, extra food. Let's go, I see a box of sorts. It's blue. Two, what is that? Rope. Random rope, found in the jungle. Why would I say no to that? What, I see another chest. I want to get it. How are we gonna get to it? Oh man. This better be worth it. Everybody eat some meat. There you go. And someone should probably preserve. Is there anybody that can preserve? She can. Let's get one person off of guard duty and just preserve some stuff. How about you? You look like you're good at preserving food. Eh, two people. Why not? Go. Camp. Patrols return empty-handed. Your hunting party returns disappointed. With a meager catch. That's not great. Let's go. I want to get to that magical box that I saw. What is that? Is that iron? I don't see it yet. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Chart the outskirts. Go we'll update it and gain some experience. Awesome. I think it's somewhere over here. That's uh, another herb. And I have to camp again. Do we still have food, like meat left? Unused meat. Now we used it all up. Okay, everybody gets one ration. That works. And now two people have no job. How about you go, you're a hunter, go... No, you're, she's a soldier. Go guard. And you go... Guard. And actually, let's have her go patrol. Get some extra stuff from that. Pouch of medicine. It's not bad, actually. Your guards have failed to stop wild animals from making off with some of your rations. Oh, well, that sucks. What the heck? Stupid guards. There it is. That's the box. Let's check it out. 164 valuables. That's actually pretty good. Seven herbs. We're just finding lots of stuff here in the jungle. And, oh, we're getting really close to our objective now. Maybe I was actually supposed to go this way. Uh, let's just keep it the same way we had it. Six rations, nine meat. So that was uh, pretty okay. We can eat, eat meat tomorrow. Some more herbs. This is probably it. Ruined temple. Approaching the ruins, the sound of a low, primal chanting emanates from somewhere around among them. At the edge of the jungle, where the trees open up into a clearing, you stop your men and signal for them to stay low and out of sight. The ruins appear to be an old temple from a previous civilization, and you must have caught the pagans preparing for a ritual. Men and women are decorating themselves with blue and white paint in different patterns, while others are piling up wood for a large bonfire. Assess the risk posed by this cult. Most of the pagans are unarmed, but weapons are arranged within reach. Mostly bows, but also some shields and obsidian swords. Scattered around this clearing are spears, thrust into the ground with heads impaled on, upon them. On your journey across the Atlantic, your people shared stories about this kind of cult. If you attack now before the ritual is underway, you might be able to catch them at a disadvantage. 
However, our nocturnal attack would make all those bows a little less dangerous. Hmm. Let's, uh, we can play this off, like, approach with your weapon sheathed. You, we can just talk to them, I assume. Let's just kill them. That seems like something I would like to do. Let's have a plus two. That's a soldier. Let's bring a soldier. Also, a doctor would be nice. Uh, yep, that's you. A hunter, another soldier, and one more hunter. And I have more soldiers left, right? Yep. Let's bring her. And equipment. I don't think I really have anything. Following follower management gives you an overview of the status of your expedition, as well as letting you promote and equip your followers. The skill tab, le skill tab lets you promote your followers if you have enough experience. The possible ranks are recruit, men at arms, veteran, sergeant, and lieutenant. You can only have two sergeants and one lieutenant at the same time. A promotion improves the follower in several ways. Their combat effectiveness is improved, they gain one active class ability, they gain one passive ability of your choosing, and they gain three points to increase their camping skills. That sounds nice. Remember to upgrade your follower's camping skills after promoting them. Each skill corresponds to a task when you make camp. Your overall chance of success in each task is determined by the total skill value of all followers assigned to that task. You can use equipment to upgrade the quality of weapons and armor. As you promote them, your followers will be able to equip better gear. If an expedition member has multiple weapon proficiencies, you can switch between their weapons with the arrow buttons. Got it, so we get to upgrade our, our guys. We have the proper 100 experience. We have that, so that's nice. We can upgrade one person. I think they're all... Uh, the arrow probably means that they are upgradable. Cutlass. Oh, so you use your equipment that you have stored to make them better? Is that basically it? Let's start with a um, matchlock. Short range. Sword and shield. It only has a cutlass. I feel like we should start with a doctor. Improve her defense. Plus. Oh, so that's how that works. Let's give her three equipments because she could use them. Um, let's see. Also, a hunter. Let's give them some better bows. There we go. Soldiers, I would prefer to be better at defending. Cutlass. Let's give them three. Am I bringing along all these people? Who am I bringing along? I need to pay attention to that. Let's actually take that from her. Is there any way to see who I'm going to bring? I don't think there is. I don't remember exactly who I picked. At least I know I picked a doctor. Let's give her five. I think I picked her. So I'm going to give her three. Martinez, I don't remember. I probably, since I have two hunters, I probably picked both of them. Navaja. I don't know what that is. Is that like a dagger? Oh, that is a dagger. Okay. Let's give them better bows. There we go. And then I'd like to have one soldier. Um, Martinez has a glaive, which is awesome. High damage, low critical hit multiplier. You know what, let's actually uh, give her a better weapon, and then also, um, let's go with Ortega, because he probably has some stuff. Close. Oh, wait, equipment? Oh, so you can see who you picked, okay. Ortega... I'm pretty sure I, I put stuff in the right things, I'm not really feeling like, like, you know, looking up exactly who I used and stuff like that. But I did use Ortega. Let's give him an upgrade, extra defense, medium equipment tier. Let's give him the upgrade. Oh, and you get to pick a promotion. They get, he gains stun. Using an enemy. The target will become stunned and lose its next turn. Some pretty nice bonuses. Uh, the follower's defense is increased by 5. I do feel like going with a... Um, versus ranged attacks. Exposed weakness. There's lots of stuff to pick here. I feel like I should go with just a... Ooh, we can use a bow now. That's also a pretty interesting uh, upgrade. I'm going to go with a uh, block. Extra defense. That's always a good thing to pick. Let's make him a super guard and also a little bit of patrol. And that's it. Close. Begin. So we just uh, picked, picked one favorite guy, I guess, that we're going to be using from now on. I think it was Ortega. Tactical move to escape an enemy without provoking attack of opportunity. Yeah. 
here we go. This battle allows you to prepare before the fight. Select a follower to see your available star points and click any of them to move them. You can switch out two followers by selecting one unit and then clicking another. The item placement radius depends on the start points you select. You can place your barricades before the battle starts. Oh, that's awesome, okay. Click on the barricade item icon and then click where you wish to place it. You can only place items inside the green area. Got it. Everything is green. Oh man, okay. Let's see, doctor to the back. This works, I got like the uh, the most vulnerable most vulnerable units in the back and then I've got my stronger guys in the front. Um, except there's no barricade option, I don't see it. It was supposed to be there, but I don't see any of them. I don't think anyone has the option to really do that, so let's just click begin battle. Let's begin it, whatever. My turn. Uh, let's start by switching you to a bow. Oh god, he doesn't have a bow. Oh, that's a doctor, okay. 25. Let's just take that chance, whatever. It's a doctor, doesn't really have any use right now anyway. So, why did I put you there? Maybe I didn't accept it or something, I don't get it. Let's, uh, accuracy... Let's pick one that's pretty high. That's pretty much the highest, pretty much here, so let's just go with that. There we go, it's one attack in. And there's no cover here. So that's not perfect. Let's just get behind the others. That works, 77. Okay. Let's start with the soldiers. Let's get them into range. Tactical move. There it is. Um, this is a shaman. If I hit him, I will do lots of damage. So I'm just gonna go and boom, attack him. That's good damage right there. Let's actually use that so I don't get him into attacking mode, whatever. There we go, the doctor's fine over there. It's very tough to see where the the green begins and ends. I don't like that. Let's get you into that hut and kill that whatever it is. Trapper. Kill the trapper, please. And that pretty much is the end of our turn, I guess, because we used everybody. So end it. Tactical move. That's a smart thing to do. Wow, he missed. They all have names too, I believe. Oh god, they do lots of damage. Except for that guy. That's the uh, man at arms or something like that. Sweet! Get a free ranged attack. That person didn't see it. Oh, it's a civilian. Seems really scared. Okay, you know what? Let's attack this person. 85 points of endurance. I don't know how many she has left. Well, let's just attack. There we go. And finish it. There we go, one person down. Kanobana. Okay, this person is kind of annoying. He's uh, messing with my with my hunters. Let's get some distance between us and start firing. Oh, critical hit, sweet, okay. Everybody's just ganging up on this one guy. I don't like that. Yeah, you gotta, oh, he poisoned me. Or she, I don't really know. It's a she. Well, enjoy your poisoning me. While you're dead. And that's another one down. And there's only four left. Isn't there? One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's four left. Um, Just stay there, I guess. I don't want you to die. No traps, I believe, so just stay there. I don't even know, I just clicked that button because I saw it. Stab me. Oh, of course, why wouldn't you stab me? This person is in danger. This person might die. Oh man, is that my number one guy? Yup, he just died. Or he's incapacitated, he's not necessarily dead. Do it. That's a good attack. Uh, let's have you go over here. Oh, this person's gonna stab you, but don't worry about it. Doesn't hurt that much. And finish it. There we go. There's three left. And go. Let's start attacking them. A full cover, so let's just attack that one. 
That'll make it easier to deal with. Attack. Oh. We still have the doctor. I probably should have used the doctor before, but I didn't really think about it. Get the doctor over there. Just have the doctor attack, I guess. There's a very low chance of that working, so we're probably not going to see a lot of hits with the, uh... With the Arcubus. Uh, end it. Yep, he's going for the... Oh, I thought he was going for the doctor, but I guess not. Oh, that is a good hit. And it's free. You just shanked me. What is up with those weird planks they're they're carrying around? Hey, that's like an obsidian sword, I don't know. Uh sure, melee attack him. Can you finish that? I don't think so. This person can though, let's do it. Finish him. Boom! Nice. Okay, so there's two left. Let's play this nice and, and smart. Doctor, please shoot this guy and do not miss this time. Okay, you totally missed. Just shoot. Just shoot this person. How much does he have left? 27. Might be able to finish it. How much damage will this do? That's not gonna. Nope, that's not enough. Let's just shoot him. Oh man, are you kidding me? One health left. That is just too perfect. Oh god, my my hunter's dying. Doctor, please use your healing. Oh god, we don't have that yet. Perfect. No, my hunter's dead. Well, they're probably just wounded and then, then they die later. I don't really know how it works, but I guess we're gonna go find out. Boom, let's finish this guy before he... Has the chance to ever do anything again. And Doctor, the honors is all yours. Finish this guy. Okay, you messed up. Whatever. Hunter, finish it. And there you go. Only I lost two soldiers. It's not perfect. Harmless bone fracture. It's just a bone fracture and lacerations. But at least the doctor is still fine. Gotta gotta take good care of the doctors. After the battle, you people go over the ruined buildings and recover a few valuable trinkets and a few days worth of food. Oh, that's actually quite nice. While you wait for your people to complete their search, you take a closer look at the heads and built on the spears. They're all old men and women and appear to have been dead for a long time. End event. So maybe they weren't extremely dangerous? I don't... I don't know. Let's hit tactics. Okay. The Word of God. Jungle drums. Next time you're near that town, I will. Let's, so we're gonna go for, um, back to Santo Domingo. Let's start doing that then. And we should have enough food to make the journey back. And hopefully the, uh, the wounded people will recover. But I get a feeling that if they get wounded too many times, they basically die or whatever. I don't really know. Treatment. The treatment window is where you treat injured fo uh, followers. This tab is only available when you have selected a wounded follower. The health of a wounded follower may deteriorate during the night if left untreated. To treat a follower, you need to assign a doctor to him or her and have the required amount of medicine. Okay. As captain, you count as doctor as well for the purpose of treatment. That's cool. Harmless, moderate, severe, critical, fatal, and dead. Let's just deal with this as soon as possible then. Ortega. Being treated. And then there's the other girl... Where is she? There she is. I'm gonna treat you. And camp. The steady rhythmic thumbs of arrowheads embedding themselves in the trunk of a tree draw your attention while you're inspecting the guard posts. Adriana Cervera is practicing her already impeccable archery skills as usual. Strike up a conversation. She turns her head to smile at you as you approach, losing an arrow without looking at the target she's pinned to a tree. It's not a bullseye, but it's a rather good shot considering the lack of aiming. Good evening, senor. Are you only here to watch, or would you like to join me? Hunting medium. I will have a go, sure. Why not? Adriana retrieves her arrows from the tree and produces a second bow for you. You both line up at the same distance to the target and take turns shooting. Your marksmanship is frankly embarrassing, but Adriana is a graceful winner, offering moral support and even a few helpful tips in your dreadful marksmanship. When you're done, she retrieves her arrows and, just to show off, demonstrates her quick shot technique by sidestepping back and forth in front of the target while pulling and losing arrows with only a couple of seconds interval. 
All arrows hit the target. How long did it take you to achieve this level of mastery? My entire life, Senor Garcia. Remember, my father was a Fletcher. The bow you hold in your hands, I built it myself. I know the woods, uh, I know the wood, how well it bends and why it bends the way it does. I dare say nobody in Spain can match me at the range. Are you equally as good with a rifle? Almost. A lot of the skills are similar. Breathing, posture, a steady pull, a good eye, a good sense of the weapon. I have no qualms about shooting an arquebus, but I prefer bows if given a choice. Out of famili familiarity, perhaps, but also because I find the physicality of archery very satisfying. Well, you are very talented and I'm grateful to have you with me. She salutes and winks irreverently. I'm grateful to be a part of your expedition. If you want to be humiliated in another archery competition, don't hesitate to join me again whenever you like. And I don't know what that accomplished, but I guess it's just a sort of nice little character building time. But it's nice, it's nice. It's a good touch to get in you know, to get to know your party members in games like these. Oh, we're almost there. We're gonna make it. Oh man, it's a very close one. I think we made it. We totally made it. Okay, here we go. Let's go talk to this dude. This time, the Manzanedo staff lets you straight in without a delay, and the governor gets up from behind his fancy desk when you enter his office. What news of the pagans? We killed them all. Good. Spare me the details. I don't need to know. Good. We can reestablish straight roads to Santiago then. That'll benefit our economy greatly. I expect you spent some supplies searching the jungle for those heathens. I shall direct Senor Chocero, our treasurer, to have payments for services rendered brought to your carts. You can use that to restock your stores. I think a thousand valuables should suffice. About my ship. There's a grunt, blah blah blah. We still have the not so small matter of the encroaching rebel army. Fine, who are these rebels? As far as we know, there are two rebel leaders. One group is less by, led by Esteban Gallego. A mountain of a man who used to be a notorious brawler in Spain before he came here. We don't know who leads the second group. They mainly terrorize the northern coast, so they may more, know more about them in Santiago. What shall we do about it? They must be defeated, blah blah blah. Okay, got it. Is to go to Santiago and talk to Capitan Leandra Vizcaino. Vizcaino. Her company has been stationed there for the past six months to defend the town against the northern rebel army. Uh, okay, I'll hear what she has to say. The governor nods curtly. Whichever part of your problem you decide to deal with first, I wish you good luck. Return to me when you have something to report. Man, this guy's kind of a douche nozzle. Okay. Uh, one of the guards posted outside stops you politely. Senor Garcia, Senor de Rossi, was here looking for you earlier. He asked me to tell you he'd like to talk to you. He'll be waiting for you in the market. So we're going to talk to that dude again. I think there's some more things opened up in town that we can do. And we also have some more uh, quests. We have to go to, to Santiago now. Which is going to be good. These are our, uh, our goals. Oh, we get tinkering if we talk to Umberto. So um, we have some more things to do, but we're going to do them in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this part of Expeditions Conquistador, and I'll talk to you guys later.